Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this new video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem determinant of a matrix. This is an easy level question and the topic tags of this question are matrix and data structures. So let us go through the question. Given a square matrix of size n by n, the task is to find the determinant of this, mat determinant of this matrix. That's it. So you might be knowing determinant or, the, or not. So we'll be solving this question. We'll be seeing the concepts of determinant as well. And so that you'll be getting a better clarity if you are in a condition of, you know, not knowing this concept before. So these are some few examples. We'll go through it. And the expected time complexity is O of n power 4 and space complexity is O of n square. Fine. So we'll be uh, working on the similar lines. And n goes up to 10 and matrix of i and j can go up to 10 starting from minus 10. Okay. So this is the overall as uh, overview of the question. Now let us go through the examples. Now let us go through the example 1. So in example 1, this is the matrix given n equal to 4 and this is the matrix given. So I've written that here to the right side for your reference. So how do you calculate the determinant of this matrix? So the procedure is take the topmost element. Okay. Take the topmost element. There are various procedures and this is one of the procedures. Okay. Take the topmost element and evaluate the determinant okay so one i've taken this is the topmost element so top left and then evaluate the determinant of that matrix okay evaluate the determinant of that matrix that includes the, that does not includes the elements of ones row and ones column so what is ones row so this is the ones row right so one is present in this row so do not involve the elements in this particular row and do not involve the elements in this particular column so what will be the elements that will be left this particular matrix okay so you need to evaluate the matrix of that 0 0 5 1 4 minus 3 0 5 0 okay so this is how it is and this is one segment and there are still a uh, few more other things to evaluate as well now you're done with one so uh, with one you're done so one's perspective is over one's perspective is over so now coming to zero's perspective okay now you, you need to evaluate zero's perspective now coming to zero's perspective so again the same thing do not involve the elements in the same row in the same row as zeros and same column as zeros so do not evaluate include the elements of this particular row do not include the elements of this particular column so what will be the elements that are there in the other uh, like uh, rows and columns so that comes out to be 3 0 5 2 4 minus 3 1 5 0 okay and now you need to evaluate this determinant so determinant of this and multiply that with 0 but but there's one more thing here as you do this the sign of this whole uh, value gets changed okay so here this is positive 1 plus 1 into whole thing and here minus 1 into whole thing again plus 1 into whole thing minus 1 into whole thing this is how you'll be following right so in this case you will be evaluating the whole things and the final determinant would be this answer so again so plus one into so if i need to work on the third component so i'll just erase this i'll just erase this particular point so plus one into because minus one is done now again plus one plus one into so what is the now other element that is there so i'll just erase this also zero's perspective is also over now coming to two's perspective two's cup perspective what are the elements that are in the same rows are to these one what are the elements that are in the same column as to these one so do not include these elements and include all the other elements for finding the determinant so plus 1 into 2 into determinant of so what are the elements 3 0 3 0 5 2 1 minus 3 1 0 0 so this is how we'll be doing and this is the third component and finally plus 1 is done now minus 1 minus 1 into so 2's perspective is over 2's perspective is over right 2's perspective is over now coming to this particular element minus 1 so coming to minus 1 just minus 1 into so determinant of all those elements that does not include this particular row and particular column so this a matrix right so just write that so determinant of 3 0 0 3 0 0 and 2 1 4 214105 okay so this evaluates to be this and now again okay now we have uh, diluted the 4 by 4 matrix 4 by 4 matrix into some parts of 3 by 3 matrix again you need to the need to do the dilution of 3 by 3 into 2 by 2 and then 2 by 2 into 1 by 1 when it is a 1 by 1 matrix it's just like this okay just a small grid of some element x there will be some element x you can just return it okay you can just return it so so this particular thing okay this particular thing here this particular thing here again evaluates into 2 by 2 this again evaluates into 2 by 2 so this again evaluates into some 2 by 2 matrices right some uh, determinants of 2 by 2 matrices so this again 2 by 2 following the same formula so how do you do it pick this element evaluate this determinant multiply again pick this so this and this would be there and when you pick this this whole thing would be there so doing that for the same or everything so what are you observing the repeated pattern of doing the same sort of you know algorithm or calculations right so this comes out to be a recursion right this can be done with the help of recursion so you can involve the recursion to do all these things but 
there's an extra thing that you need to learn so once you're doing this particular recursion okay you need to store the elements isn't it so if i'm working on this particular uh, one if i'm working on this particular one i need to get this particular set of elements to evaluate isn't it i need to get this particular set of uh, elements to evaluate and then once i get this again i'll be calling the recursion on this particular element for these particular things again i'll be calling the recursion from this particular four to this once i call the recursion from four there will only one there will be only one element zero so i'll be just returning this I'll be just written this so I'll be multiplying these two and 4 into 0 and because here plus 1 would be there it would be minus 1 the next part, uh, thing would be minus 1 and it would be minus 3 into 5 so minus 3 into 5 so right this would be evaluating this whole 2d uh, this 2d matrix and that will be that result will be sent to this so you will be storing elements at each and every point okay so you'll be taking a n by n matrix and for each and every evaluation you'll be storing the values so that you'll be using that stored values for the next uh, evaluation of determinant so the same thing we'll be putting it in the uh, code as well fine so we'll with the only point here that is a logical thing uh, sort of thing is so you need to store the elements if you can't store the elements you will not be able to access the determinant right so that is the only point where there is a bit small bit of confusion or logic th logical thinking involved so here it is so this is the code first int answer equal to zero uh, this is to store the final answer it's to store the final answer okay and if n equal to one return the only element that is present right so this is to store to store the values to store the values okay and uh, first in sign is to be one and then after each and every iteration you can just multiply it by minus one right so positive negative positive negative it goes on so this function function to store the values okay functions to store the values functions to store the values. so what are all the values you'll be storing so you'll be taking a vector in this is the data structure to store the values so you'll be uh, putting that here temp and zero and i so for example so zero in the sense you will be working on only in the zero row, right so you'll be only considering this resource taking the perspective of each and every element so zero throw is there but you need to evaluate each column so each and every iteration column is changing first year we are and then year and then year and then year so your column is changing for that reason we have taken i so this i denotes the column okay so zero i and n so how are we going to store the cofactor so int i equal to zero j equal to zero this is where you will be you know storing the values the pointers to store the values so int row equal to zero so this is where you will be iterating the matrix okay you will be iterating the matrix so if row not equal to r and column not equal to c okay so what is this capital R and C the things that we have provided so capital R will always be zero because it will be we are only working on the uh, zero row. so capital R would be zero and C would be I right so every time I is changing so C would be I so until and unless your row not equal to R and column not equal to C you can take that particular elements right you can put in all those elements so temp i j equal to matrix of row column right so when I'm working on this particular thing okay I'll just erase these things for better clarity so <coughs> when I'm working on this particular thing okay when I'm working on this particular thing so I'll not be considering all the elements that are in this particular column and in this particular row so what are all the elements that are not there in that so I'll only be putting those things in my temp so temp of ij would be matrix of row column uh, row column and after each and I uh, after putting those elements i'll just update the column okay so once in case the update uh, the column reaches to the end again i need to the uh, go to the next part okay so this is like this so i've taken a temp i've taken a temp i've taken a temp like this right i've taken a temp like this so i'll be putting on values i'll be putting values like this so once i reach this particular thing now i go need to go to the next row so i need to put values here put values here right this is how i'll be going so once i done that i'll be you know uh, increasing the row so if i reach the end so i'll be putting j to be zero and i plus plus going to the next so this is how i'll be storing this value in the cofactor uh, temp so once i store that i'll be evaluating the determinant of that particular matrix okay so temp so temp is what i'll be uh, using to de find the determinant right so as discussed so temp is what you'll be evaluating the determinant so it becomes to be so once you're like this once you have written like this so you have dissolved that 4 by 4 into 3 by 3 now you'll be evaluating the determinant of this so now your n is n minus 1 so that's the reason we have updated n to be n minus 1 and this is the temp this is where this this is the one this is the matrix that you need to evaluate the determinant of and then sign into minus one you'll be storing the answer for each and everything and finally return the answer that's it so this is a typical you know involvement of a recursion and as well as a use of data structure to store the values at each and every particular instance right so i hope you people have understood so for your reference codes in c plus plus java python are in the description please go through them and if there are any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section thank you for watching stay tuned